Hello everyone, this is Elizabeth Houston from Elpis Astrology at elpisastrology.com. Thanks for joining me today. I'm doing a series of videos uh, leading up basically to the total new moon eclipse that's happening in Leo on the 21st of August 2017. And today I'm going to be taking a look at the British royal family. Leo is viewed as a royal sign, so I thought it appropriate to take a peek on what might be happening to the royal family around the eclipse and beyond. So Leo represents the good queen or the good king. And Jupiter as a planet is viewed as the royal planet. So we want to pay attention to Jupiter in the charts um, of the royal family and any um, aspects of significance. And I'll be covering those uh, as we get through uh, each of the royal family. When comparing charts to the UK, I used the UK chart of the 1st of Jan 1801. And the reason I did that was because this chart was constructed when the United Kingdom was truly the United Kingdom. And of note in this UK chart are the north nodes of the moon, they're in Aries. We've got two planets in Leo, Saturn, duty and responsibility, rules and regulations and the royal planet Jupiter. A trine by the north nodes of the moon in Leo in the universe to the UK's north nodes of the moon in Aries is happening mid-March 2018. The same north nodes in Leo in the universe form a conjunction to the UK's Saturn and Jupiter, October 2017 and October 2018 respectively. So this suggests that not only the royal family will have major changes in their structure, represented by Saturn, and royalty, represented by Jupiter, coming in 27, 2018. But the UK itself will have major changes affecting everyone in the United Kingdom. So it goes without saying that Brexit will contribute to this. And for those that don't know what Brexit is, it was basically the, um, the peoples of the UK voting May 26, 16 to leave the European Union. And of course, this will have major consequences as a result. Some other information to note that's happening prior to this eclipse is there's a full moon in Capricorn at 17 degrees, 9 minutes on the 9th of July, 2017. And this may be a prelude of what's to come. There's certainly going to be a lot of tempers flaring. Pluto will conjunct this moon, adding a lot of intensity. And it is also conjunct Queen Elizabeth II's ascendant. So she will be directly affected by this full moon in Capricorn. Um, in turn, obviously, the royal family will be affected. We also have Mars opposite this time, just adding fuel to that fire. Um, but, you know, this also uh, lands in the UK chart of the home. And the sun in the UK chart is in this, this area of the home. So there could be some kind of aggressive activity going on behind the scenes and maybe also uh, in front of the scenes in the UK around July this year. I've not included Prince Philip, Queen Elizabeth's husband, in this video because he is actually retiring and good for him. And I thought it was of interest that he's retiring in, completely in August 2017, the month of this total eclipse in Leo, the royal sign. I thought that was very apropos. But let's start off with Queen Elizabeth II. Now looking at her chart, the total eclipse happens in her seventh house of contracted duty. Neptune conjuncts her Venus in the first house, suggests selflessness in love, and I take that as love of her country. Venus also represents money though, and with Neptune here, it suggests there may be money problems or confusion or illusions over money. So there's some confusion over money matters to do with her directly because it's in her first house. Her natal Neptune also forms a wide conjunction with her progressed Mercury in her seventh house of duty. So this also suggests that there's some kind of cloak of invisibility, that's how I view Neptune many times, hiding communications, but this might be just her way of keeping everything hidden behind the scenes and only those that have to know know and not making any major announcements. Pluto hovers close around her Capricorn ascendant but doesn't form an exact conjunction till March of 2018. Pluto will conjunct her south nodes of the moon. That represents the past, and in particular the past of the monarchy, on the 23rd of Feb 2018. It will also be in opposition to her north nodes of the moon of destiny. 
So to me, this says February 2018 will be some turning point uh, for her. So in kind, it's going to be a turning point for the monarchy and the British royal family. It's really letting go of past duties. That's my guess. But before that, we've got Jupiter, the royal planet, goes into Scorpio and forms a conjunction to her midheaven on the 24th of Jan 2018. Well, this just basically says she's going to be in the spotlight or in the limelight. Um, and, you know, and by association, it will be also the royal family. Perhaps she'll start making more announcements about the other parts of the royal family uh, that you don't hear about that aren't maybe doing much in terms of royal duties. So presently, her progressed moon is in her 10th house of career, and it trines her natal Mercury. Uranus is going to change signs May 2018, and it's going to conjunct her sun exactly on the 19th of May 2018, and that's going to be in her second house of values and making money. If she's wise, she'll use this unexpected, out of the blue energy of Uranus to herself, that's her sun, to make changes in her career, which is represented by the 10th house. So we end here, I'm going to do a summary. She may be making her own changes to the set of royal rules and transforming them, especially in light of Pluto, the planet of relentless transformation in contact with her south, read as the past, and the north nodes, read as the future, of the moon of the royal family. And of her too, she is part of that. A turning point may manifest in February 2018 with her natal moon, and for her this also represents um, the mood of the actual public, the UK, conjuncted by the north nodes of the moon of destiny in Leo. And this brings us full circle back to the total eclipse in Leo, August 2017. I suspect the Queen is just going to do it her way, but she will be doing it behind the scenes uh, with choreographed um, releases and communications regarding information of these changes in the royal family. She is anticipating the future and slowly changing things behind the scenes to have everything in its place as she views it and as she wants it. Thank you so much for joining me on this look at the royal family and the total eclipse in Leo coming up in August 2017. Please come back and see more videos as I put them on. I'm not sure what I will do next, um, but I am going to be going to the UK in August this year and plan to be at um, Highclere Castle, which is where Downton Abbey did all their um, filming. And I will be doing some filming there myself and get that on my website as quickly as I can. Please go to my website at albusastrology.com. I do have on there every month two free blogs that are on the new moon and full moon. Again, thanks again. Come back soon.